the killer. Think it over, make a decision. Fuck waiting, we gon' have to get it. It's Saturday, so you know that means we got another vendor's market to go set up for. We gotta get all of our shit unpacked out of my whip. And we gotta get set up, get rocking, get rolling, and get this damn money. Let's go. We made it. Now we gotta get to work. You see it? You see it? Step one. Gotta start bringing stuff in. table all set up but we're about an hour early it's four o'clock and that starts at five so i'm just gonna hang out until we get started yeah, oh that looks nice right there Thirty minutes till it starts. He has two sales already. We're damn near at the price that we paid for the table. That's about to be covered. We need about five more dollars, and that price will be covered. So we're doing great. Shit hasn't even started. And we're okay, we still have about fifteen minutes until start time. We have made three sales, so we're doing perfect. Shit is rocking and rolling. We've already made our money back, and we're we're in profit mode now. And the night hasn't even begun, so let's just see how everything goes. Let's make this shit go smooth. All right, market has officially started, so let's get it cracked. All right, loading them sales up. We about to fill this bitch up. It is rocking in here. Popping in here, thousands of people everywhere. Bar, this guy popping. Ooh, 
and there's someone in here singing or screaming, doing screamo. Oh, but the wind is so wonderful, and Maddie, she's really keen. She's got electric boots, a mohawk suit, you know. Our sheet book is filled. Now we gotta start another one to fill that shit up too. We gotta run it up. It's 8.30, we have an hour and a half left. I'm severely, severely dehydrated and tired. But we only got an hour and a half left and everything has been going great. We got that page. We got this. And we got connects. So everything's going great. Come in here and check out a couple pieces of art, fine art. And here's Oriana. I just made a sale. Did you? Yeah. What? I'm trying to figure out how I can go back and show you. No, I'll show you. <laughs> Let's see if she's lying or not. Black tea, but... Let's see transactions. Eight fifty today. Yeah, right here. Oh shit! <laughs> I said sell sell a beanie. I said sell something. Sell a beanie. She sold something. The champion Oriana. What size was it? XL. XL. Oh shit. Oriadora. Y'all don't know. She's she's become so much better. I get she's nervous become... with the square reader, and I'm like, oh shit, okay, let me do this. She's become so much better with it. Y'all have no fucking clue. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. It's nine o'clock. We have exactly one hour left. Our goal is to make at least at least two more sales. Let's do it. Maybe more. Let's do it. Let's start right here. All right. It is 9.15. We got our first sale that we need to get. We got to get at least one more before 10. It's closing time. It's closing time. One of the hardest parts about doing the market is tearing everything down and lugging all your stuff out. This shit ain't no joke. Woo! No joke, no joke. Welcome to Taco Bell. What can I get started for you today? Uh, can I get three of the spicy potato tacos? Okay. Can I get one soft taco? And... Uh, oh, and a cheesy quesadilla. <laughs> a cheese quesadilla? Yep. Alright, anything else? Just give me one sip. And I'm gonna do a crunch wrap supreme. Is that a crunch wrap? Yep. Alright, anything else? Nope, that's all. Alright, so it's gonna be 1455 and I'll see you later. Cool. 14. <laughs> I went from went from nine dollars to fourteen. <laughs> Thought you forgot about your crunch wrap. <laughs> I was trying to think if I was gonna get something else instead. Like, <laughs> anything else sound better? Yeah. Is there anything better than crunch wrap? <laughs> Night market then Taco Bell. That's the that's the combo. That's the routine. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Thank you. Secure the bag. Secure the bag. What do we got here? This must be your country. Oh, there's a bag in a bag. 
Maybe give us someone else's order too. All right, I'm just, I'm just checking in for the night market recap. Overall, we made a grand total of four hundred and eighty dollars. That's up from the first market we did the previous week. So that was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. We made four eighty. Our sales were flowing. We sold a lot of bigger items. This is our third night market that we've done. So in the first one, we made we were in the four hundred dollars. We might have made like four sixty or something like that. But we sold a lot of beanies. We were selling like jackets and stuff, but we kind of sold a a good range, but a lot of beanies. So it was just we get fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars. And then the second one, we made three hundred and twenty dollars. We kind of sold a, a, an arrangement of things as well. But this time we were selling big items like we were clearing out on jackets. We're selling small, medium uh, and XL jackets. Those are going for forty five a pop. We're selling a good amount of sweatshirts and they're all they were all in like two X or XL, which we needed to sell. We had a lot of leftover uh, size, bigger sizes. So we sold a bunch of these. A bunch of the jackets and that's really what just helped us it was just clicking we got there early and and we were even selling I mean as you've seen in the video we were even selling before things got started so everything just seemed to was clicking this time we did good I'm happy with it for the next night market we're gonna try to spruce up our booth like every time I go around, I'm like, damn, that person's booth's dope. That person's booth's dope. That person's booth's dope. And mine is all right. Like, you know, you're sometimes you're just insecure or biased towards other people or you don't want to give yourself credit. Like, I do like my booth, but every time I'm always like, I got to spruce it up. So for the next one, we're just going to make sure to spruce our booth up, make it stand out a little more. And uh, we're going to have some new gear available as well. Just getting feedback from people, seeing what people liked and didn't like. We'll have a, a new array of products to be sold. But overall, it was good. One thing I do have to note is that uh, we had a different spot than the first night market. Or than the first, yeah, than the first night market. We had a better spot. We were kind of away from people. So it was good. Everything just seemed to work out. And I'm happy with it. For anyone who watched this video, thank you so much. Please like, comment, share, uh, and like I said before, just keep up with me. My name is Michael Okoro. Just keep up with me and my business, The Limitless Company, Limitless Apparel. Uh, I'll put a link to our website in there, so go check all that out and just follow. Fuck with your boy. We got a lot of big things coming. We got a lot of, lot of, lot of big, good things coming. So you're going to be seeing a lot of this logo. You're going to be seeing a lot of this face. Thank you for anyone who watched. Peace.